Ladies, gentlemen, cats, dogs and goats, I am the biggest idiot in Rust. It all started when I put out this video. The video was doing well, but then I received a comment that blew my mind. So, Penko 1HP, this one's for you. Once you have your loot room sorted, and you got all your barrels or boxes in place, put a conveyor between your drop box and your first barrel. Then run conveyors between all of your storage units. For your last one, you can run it straight back, but I prefer to run it into a second drop box. I'll explain why in a moment. First of all, connect your drop box to your first conveyor. Run your first conveyor to your first storage box. Run that into your next conveyor and daisy chain all the way across. Once you get to the end, run that to your last conveyor. From your last conveyor into a drop box. Connect all these to power and then turn them all on. Now to get these organised in loot, all you need to do is interact with an industrial conveyor, change the item filters to whatever you want, in this case I'm going to go with weapons, select that, change this to exclude the listed items and click apply. This one I'm going to set to clothing, exclude listed item and hit apply. Now when I put weapons or clothing in this, this will pump it out and the weapons will get stuck in there because this will not pump anything out that's weapon based but the clothing will move on to the next box but will not go any further because this one will say do not move any clothing so now we've got weapons and the clothing sorted once you've got all these in place and everything set up and you've changed all of these so that you have covered every single item in the game so no matter what you fetch back it will find its way into one of these boxes then and only then would you disconnect this and put it back into the original box so then if i was to put weapons in this box and that's wrong because weapons should be in this box then what it's going to do is it's going to work its way all the way through the system all the way across back into this box for it to go and find its way into the the weapons box you see what i mean now obviously you don't want to be using weapons and you don't want to be using clothing what you should be doing is separating melee weapons uh any more that you can think of but for now we'll just hit apply and we'll exclude the listed item turn that on then you move on to your tier one guns and again you want to exclude the listed item apply then you move on to tier two if i miss any please forgive me and again exclude the listed items then you've got tier three again forgive me if i miss any if i grab any weapon connect this to that box this system will tell you what you've missed if I throw all the weapon stuff into this box, it will begin to funnel into the appropriate boxes and they'll settle in place. This box should have collected anything that we've missed off the list. Anything that's not set up will appear in this box. Then all you have to do is assign it a home. That's a much simpler and much faster way than my previous method. There's no combiners or splitters involved and it only requires one conveyor per storage container. Thanks for watching.